Hello everyone again, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. A quick follow-up video to my previous FT8 HF digital mode video. And I made a video showing about this new HF mode that I just started. And it's new. And a lot of comments. I appreciate all the comments on the pages and the videos and the subscriptions and the thumbs up. You know, FT8 is a really cool, efficient mode. So I turned on 6 meters tonight and decided to start scrolling through sideband and heard nothing. And the first thing I thought is, well, let me check to see the little spotter network. And whoa, there we go. We have 6 meter activity here, August 3rd. It's still plenty of time left to play on 6 meters. However, when I went to list to see about where these people were or what mode they were using, guess what? All FT8, a couple sideband, maybe a couple CW. The rest is mostly FT8 mode. Not a problem. I have read a couple of the comments that say, well, the digital mode has taken over. Nobody's on sideband anymore. Well, in this situation tonight, yeah, on sideband, on six meters, I heard nobody. And I love phone. I love using phone on all the bands. But I'm just fascinated right now by this digital mode. You know, I, right here in my receive history, uh, this is what's going on right now. The green beam, people calling CQ and the other stations it's hearing. But I just threw out, he was calling CQ earlier. I threw out one response, made his contact, got a zero, plus zero on the signal report, which is really good. And I gave him a negative one. Um... I just wanted to make sure, you know, everything was still working, so uh made one contact. But look at the signals on the waterfall. In fact, if I were to drag this waterfall wider, I'm going to lose all this history. But I'm, I'm seeing over here there might be a few more stations way off to the right here. I did notice since my last video that you can drag this out even farther. I think I had a small little slice here. And what you'll notice is that if you're in this small slice here to 600 hertz, you're really not going to see nothing, right? Here's all the activity up here and probably way over to the right, but I don't want to, uh, if I draw this out, it's going to delete all this and take five minutes to build a list. Um, but anyways, six meters is open right now. Six meters is hot and FT8 is booming. A lot of people trying it. Uh, so you will see more of these videos here in the near week or so of me doing some ultra ultra portable QRP with the FT8. And now I'm stepping back again. Going back to JT65 and JT9, my original impression on that was, well, I did it. It's cool. It's like watching paint dry. But now I'm fascinated to to just make a contact using this very fast, efficient da uh, digital data mode. Um, you know, when I say fast, I'm saying faster than JT65 and 9. But it's just intriguing to know there's all these people out here and I'm making these, you know, what may seem like an eternity compared to data rates this day and age. Uh, you know, just to make those contacts. I, I love PSK. I love Riddy. I love all the other little ones that pop up that people use, Olivia and Contestia and Domino X, but there's just something cool about this FT8. So a video in under four minutes, just giving you a recap. If you haven't seen the original video, it's about 18 minutes long, and it'll tell you more about this mode if you're interested in trying it. And uh, But for what I see right now, uh, it's a live on six with FT8. So 7-3, thanks for the comments. Subscribe for more videos to stay up to date. Visit my YouTube channel, search Ham Radio Concepts, and 7-3 from KJ4YZI.